Finally, somebody in the mainstream media is starting to see what the students of prophecy have been talking about for decades when it comes to the socialist agenda of the popes. Check this out. The headline reads, Commie Pope Red Francis urges kids to keep shouting for social change. And then here it says, Pope Francis told the children of the world to keep shouting and not allow adults to silence them. Amazing, isn't it? You scroll down a little bit here, and it says that Pope Francis, starting what he calls Holy Week services leading to Easter, urged young people on Sunday to keep shouting and not allow the older generations to silence their voices or anesthetize their idealism. Francis spoke a day after hundreds of thousands of young Americans and their supporters answered a call to action from survivors of last month's Florida high school massacre and rallied across the United States to demand tighter gun laws. The only older generation these kids or any kids are going to know are their very own parents, and the Pope knows this. I'm sure he has seen the articles and videos of parents getting very upset, and some of them recording it on camera, and they're getting upset at the teachers and the principals that are conning their children into leaving class to help bolster a political agenda for the second beast of Revelation, which is the United States of America. This is exactly how the Pope commanded Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler to use the children to promote gun control in his day. Hitler did this to prevent the people from standing up against the state, and the end result was the children literally turned their own parents into the Nazis to be killed. And just as Hitler had children standing around him when he promoted gun control, Obama did the exact same thing when he signed the executive orders on gun control during his administration. But still, that's just a bunch of political falderall that will allow the Pope to control the masses in the USA so as to enforce the mark of the beast here, just as prophecy predicted. And so we, as students of the Bible, we're prepared for this. It's going to happen exactly as the Bible says, and we know this. And so we're ready for it. That's, that's not the main issue here. The main issue here is that the Pope is doing as the Pope in Hitler's day did by openly commanding the children to break commandment number five, wherein it says in Exodus 20, verse 12, that they should honor their father and their mother, that their days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And for those that believe the Ten Commandments are strictly Old Testament and done away with, it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3, that children... Obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And that's the promise, obviously. In fact, you can find all ten of the commandments in the New Testament after the cross of Christ. When everybody's out there preaching, they were abolished for some odd reason. But anyway, the Bible clearly says in Proverbs 22, verse 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right? But this Jesuit pope who took an oath that speaks about ripping children from the wombs of women so he can crush their infants' heads against the walls, is declaring all the teens should ignore all that is written and do as he commands instead. And thanks to the United States government having the power to brainwash the children in the schools, the parents are on the very precipice of losing all hope to bless their children with Christian morals and simple common sense because, number one, their schools pump everything from homosexuality to evolution into their impressionable little minds on a daily basis to a pope, number two, who protects the very pedophiles that rape them in the millions. He is telling them to disobey their parents so he can have better control over the people when it comes time to enforce his long prophesied mark. Thank you for watching. God bless.